another round of applause for that video. Um, I must confess, I actually got a bit carried away with the quality and the contents that were in the video, so I thought I was almost in the cinema. But um, yes, yeah, so we're going to move on very swiftly onto the next thing on the agenda. And it's going to be a panel discussion. The panel discussion is going to be exploring the employment market and job opportunities for the Nigerian youth. I would like to invite to the podium our moderator, who is an entrepreneur, a social activist, owner of Gaida Farms Limited. She's been featured on multiple media outlets as a social and political commentator. She's a graduate of finance from the University of Abu Dhabi and is passionate about community and development work. Ladies and gentlemen, please give an outstanding round of applause for Fakria Hashim. gentlemen, I would like to welcome you all to the BRF GabFest second edition. So we're all here to answer a question or rather explore a question, which is where are the jobs now? So our panel discussion is going to revolve around this question and we're going to explore quite extensively. We're going to touch up on human capacity development we're going to touch up on local community development and also education. So, um, and we're going to take questions from the audience, of course, which will, uh, which will add to the conversation. So I would like to welcome um, our, our panelists. I'm going to call them out and give a brief on them. So yeah, um, I'm just going to take a seat. Uh, I'll call out our panelists, give a brief on them, and then call them up here. So um, we have Ife Dayo Durosimi Eti. She is an author, an entrepreneur, young global leader with over 10 years uh, experience in management and leadership. She works in fashion, marketing, and manufacturing industries. She holds a first degree in biochemistry and an MBA in global business. Prior to moving back to Nigeria in 2012, she worked with Arcadia Group PLC, a British multinational retailing company that's headquartered in London and Aspire Acquisitions. She later joined Nigerian breweries as a young African talent and transitioned to their corporate communications department as corporate social responsibility and sustainability support manager, where she successfully managed various corporate social responsibility and sustainability projects. With her passion for women and children, she launched Parliamo Bambini and Philos and Zoe, startups disrupting the baby and child industries through locally manufactured furniture and clothing for children with the aim of reducing poverty, empowering the youth, and promoting access to quality education in Nigeria and Africa as a whole. She's also very passionate about uh, national development. So she launched a platform called the AGS Tribe to democratize opportunities for entrepreneurs across Africa and the AGS Enterprise Challenge to empower female entrepreneurs through funding mentoring and training. Please welcome Ifedayo. So our second panelist is a young man that has uh, accomplished quite a lot as, at such a young age. I'm, uh, I'm a fan. Um, so Yomi Adedeji. Yomi Adedeji is CEO of Softcom Limited usually characterized as a thinking company which is focused on solving problems for business and social impact. 
They are focused on solving problems in identity, learning, payment, and data. And recently, uh, they launched that uh, fintech product, Ayoro. Softcom has pioneered some of Africa's largest deployments of technology in addressing various problems for leading telecoms, consumer goods, financial, retail, and governmental organizations, such as MTN, the Federal Government of Nigeria, Diamond Bank, Fort Oil, Kraft Haynes, and Honeywell Foods. The company is currently helping the Federal Government of Nigeria to drive its graduate social impact program called Empower, where 500,000 graduates have been recruited, trained, and to be deployed as, and have been deployed as volunteer workers in key economic sectors. Under Yomi's leadership, Softcom led Diamond Bank's initiative of a $100 million technology intervention fund available to Nigerian universities to drive technology adoption, working with Samsung, Intel, and MTN. Yomi is committed to building an engineering company that will improve the way we live, learn, and work in the sub-Saharan Africa by focusing on three key premises. The ability to quickly verify and, in, uh, and identify individuals, transact efficiently and easily, and the ability to learn easily and broadly. He is a graduate of Covenant University and an alumnus of Stanford University Seed Program in West Africa. <laughs> Welcome, Yogi. So our next panelist is, well, an incredible gentleman who has... Uh, achieved quite a lot. Uh, so uh, please help me welcome Akin Tunde Oyebode. So Akin Tunde joined the Lagos Business School of the Pan-Atlantic University in 2004, where he provided research support to uh, uh, Vice Chancellor and several faculty members. He was introduced to entrepreneurship in this role and helped prepare entrepreneurship case studies for postgraduate classes across various sectors, including transport, retail, trade, manufacturing, and hospitality. In 2005, he joined First City Monument Bank, PLC, where he was tasked with developing a macro, economic, and industry research framework to support executive decision-making. In this role, he also supported the strategy formulation and execution function in the bank, and he was a member of the team that successfully raised over 25 billion naira in a public offer and executed the, the, uh, executed the bank's retail banking strategy. He joined Stanbic IBTC Bank in 2010 as a segment manager, business banking with a mandate to grow the bank's market share within that business banking segment of the retail market. In 2011, Akintunde was appointed pioneer head, SME banking, and tasked with overall responsibility for managing the bank's SME portfolio across Nigeria. In this role, he was responsible for growing the bank's customer base from less than 15,000 at the inception to over 120,000 clients by January 2016. He also led the development of several lending products that provided financial support to SMEs and grew SME loan book to over 200 billion naira. He led the development of a business support service that ensured small businesses not only received funding, but also got training support to grow their businesses. In addition, he launched SME BizDirect, the branchless platform to manage SME clients. In January 2016, he was appointed the executive secretary of the Lagos State Employment Trust Fund. Thank you for having me. So our last panelist is Inkiru Achuku. Please give her a round of applause. Thank you for raising us with your presence. Inkiru Achuku is the founder and creative director of Zifans & Co. It is her love for fashion and the need to put West African fashion industry on the global map combined with the need to create an avenue for affordable celebrity fashion that birthed what is now one of the leading made-in-Africa ready-to-wear companies in the country. 
The Fans and Co. is the parent company to a female and male ready to wear fashion brand tags, La Victoria and Zuri Z, respectively. The company makes all of its pieces in Nigeria using locally sourced fabrics and also supports the sustainability of its employees and indigenous talents in Nigeria by collaborating with local crafters to highlight their artisanal skills. 